Hello, this is Terry and welcome to my next video in my mini teardrop uh, camper build video series. And in this video, I'm going to be running my uh, electrical wires for my electrical devices. I'm planning on using uh, DC lighting and also I've got a DC exhaust fan. And I'm going to have, of course, inside lights and uh, outside lights over my doors. And also, I'm going to have some DC lights in my hatch. And uh, I'm also going to run some AC power in uh, for like a heater and uh, other things like that. And uh, so, uh, I'm going to try to leave a lot of options open. I'm going to actually run extra wires for future use because once I've got the ceiling uh, sealed up, so to speak, uh, you know, there's no going back. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. I've got my holes drilled now. I got it from the bottom here all the way around to the back. So drill the holes uh, for a ceiling light, the fan, another ceiling light. And I've also drilled a hole for, on top of the window for a uh, overhead uh, window light or all I'm gonna call them porch lights. And uh, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start uh, mounting my uh, lights right now and and cutting out the holes that's going to support those. So let's get started with that. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut out the hole that I'm going to use to mount my exhaust fan in. Since my roof has got really thin plywood, I decided to go ahead and make a, a couple of uh, support rings so uh, I can lock my uh, ceiling lights in place. So I'm doing that right now. I wanted to stop and just give you an update. I've been running wires and I know this looks like a lot, but let me try to explain what I'm doing and you'll see more and why I'm doing it as I actually start connecting these things together. So down on the bottom driver's side, I'm going to have an AC input. I've got a, a uh, connector that will actually allow me to plug in from uh, AC power, either from a generator or or shore or commercial power. So that's going to be my AC in. This is going to be my DC in. Uh, this can, is going to come from my battery if I put one up front here. And this one here, that's not going to be used right now. This is just for future use. Uh, this is going to be if I want to put uh, uh, solar panels on top of my camper. This is the way I've got it routed. And uh, one other uh, cable I've got here is I've got a green cable here, so I'll explain that a little bit. So my main power panel and switch I've got my my primary, which is going to be from my battery, 
and my backup here. And I'll show you what my backup's gonna be in just a second. So the power runs through here and get up here to show you. And I'm running that through here. And of course, this is gonna be for the porch lights is what I'm calling it. And uh, this white here, again, like I said before, this is gonna be future if I put a solar panel on top. In my rear interior uh, cabinets here, I'm gonna run my AC down and this backup DC. So my AC is going to provide power for uh, inside uh, receptacle like this. And also I'm gonna put an outside receptacle in, in my hatch area or my galley area on the outside. And what I've ordered for my backup DC power is a AC to DC 12 volt, five amp, or it may be eight amp, uh, system so I can plug that in it's got a cigarette lighter connector on the end so then I can actually come connect it to this it will come back around go to my main uh, junction box in the front and I actually got a switch that I'm going to be using so when it's in a one position that's going to be regular DC power from a battery zero position not connected and the two position is going to be the DC power I'm getting from my AC input. So I know that may not make sense right now, but as I go through this, I think it will. Uh, one thing that I also noted is the hole that I've got is just too small to run for my lights and my fan and my porch light and things like that. So I'm gonna have to drill maybe a smaller hole because I wanna use 14 gauge wire to power everything. So this is strictly power on this conduit here, nothing but power. Then I'm gonna have another hole that's gonna be nothing but lights, fan, utilities, things like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and drill that holes, these holes through these beams where I'm gonna need it. Okay, I've drilled my secondary hole to be used for my uh, lights and fan and other things that I'm going to just power for my panel uh, that I'm gonna have switches for. Like I said before, this here bundle is only for power input. And uh, this here is gonna be my uh, utilities. And I got one here, I needed one here, one here, one there. And that was what I had before back there for my lights and my hat. So uh, what I'm going to do now is actually go on the inside. I want to start putting my switch panel in, my bus bars in, my master switch to, to select either from a primary DC or my secondary DC. And over here where my AC is going to come in the cabinet back here, and I'm actually going to have a power receptacle uh, just above my shelf in the center here and I'm going to have a power receptacle uh, right here in the center of my top shelf in the hatch here just in case I'm ever going to need that so uh, the next step is to go ahead and in, in the little uh, switch area here at the cubby hole where I'm going to have all my switches and switch to control everything is going to be here I'm going to go ahead and start on that now Okay, I've got my two terminal posts um, in and mounted and uh, I'll be drilling a hole out in the back to uh, bring the cables in. Uh, the next thing I'm going to work on is actually a switch that I'm going to switch between my uh, primary DC input power to my secondary DC input power and I'm going to put that switch up here. So I've got to, just a rotary switch so I've got to drill a hole, fairly big hole and then get that mounted so I'm going to go ahead and start Get, getting that done. Uh, one thing I've got to do, this hole is just slightly too small uh, for that switch to go in. It's got little ears on it, so what I've got to do is get a Dremel and uh, kind of notch out four little spaces here so um, I can get that switch in. I'll show you in a minute why. 
and uh, I did not want to drill a bigger hole. I just wanted to keep the hole as small as possible. So once I get that drill mole in there, it should just take a few minutes to do this. As you can see, I use a dremel just to, to notch out the corners here. So uh, when I put a plate on, it, it fits in there flush with the outside. And uh, now that, that's gonna work. So what I'm gonna do now is just put my switch together and put it up there and it'll, I'll show you what it's gonna look like. Okay, this is what it's just gonna look like. My switch fit in the hole really good, so all I gotta do now is just, just get some four mounting screws and mount that on there. And also uh, get some screws and mount that by the plate on here. So I'm just gonna mount it uh, just temporarily just to make sure it looks good. And then after that, I'll have to take the, you know, the panels off and the switch off and go ahead and start my wiring. So let me go ahead and get some uh, holes drilled here and also uh, drilled uh, for, my panel and get those uh, mounted and then uh, we'll go for it. I've got my panel, switch panel, and my uh, main DC and secondary DC switch installed. And uh, I mean, this, this looks nice. Uh, I really like it there. Again, uh, at this position, I've got no DC power coming in. This position, I'm gonna be running off a battery. No power coming in. This position, I'm going to be running my DC circuits or DC uh, lights and fan and stuff like that off of an AC to DC converter. So uh, I'm going to be using that. So when I'm traveling or not using anything, this position here, I mean, it turns DC off everywhere. So I think I like that idea. So uh, next step is to start my wiring. I've got my input power ran into the front of the teardrop camper and this is my DC in primary and secondary. This is going to be my DC out to all the devices that my DC system is going to power. Let's take a look at the inside. Behind the switch panel you can see where I've got my DC in coming in. As I connect my switches to the devices it's going to power, it's going to go out the hole here and in the back here I've got my AC power coming in and my DC backup coming in. See where my AC power is going in and my DC sec uh, backup power will be coming out there. So, uh, okay, I think I'm going to stop this build video here as this video was getting quite long and uh, I did get all my DC and AC power input cables ran and fanned out to the back of the camper and the front of the camper and in the next build video i will be connecting all my devices to my switch panel it's going to be here and uh, we'll continue and hopefully in the next video i'll actually finish all my electrical work so i thank you guys for continuing to watch this and uh, if you would uh, like and comment and uh, I will see you guys in our next build video. Thanks.